Hi, this video demonstrates how to calculate rooms natural lighting and ventilation in Revit uh, using our design check IPMC light vent calculator. Uh, first of all, to clarify something, uh, this application is not only about IPMC standards. Uh, you see, um, most standards require almost the same uh, requirements for natural lighting and ventilation. Uh, for instance, in very basic words, uh, IPMC standards require about 4% of room's area uh, for uh, lighting, natural lighting, and about 8% for uh, natural ventilation. Uh, of course, the standards are about uh, a lot more than that and the application uh, takes into consideration almost all of these requirements uh, but to give you an idea uh, so we've increased this percentage to be uh, five percent instead of four and ten percent instead of eight for uh, lighting and ventilation uh, respectively uh, so this application actually uh, matches with almost all design standards for uh, all design standards requirements for natural lighting and ventilation. Um, this is a sample project that comes with Revit. Uh, I've created a room schedule and uh, if I select any room in the project as you can see, uh, I do not have any uh, parameters or data uh, related to natural lighting and ventilation. And as soon as I run the application, I can include doors for lighting and uh, ventilation calculations if I need to check for window obstructions. As soon as I run the application, uh, I will have uh, these data uh, written to each room and if there is any uh, errors or warnings, the application is going to write uh, these warnings as notes to each room. Uh, very easily now I can include these new shared parameters and new data into my schedules. Let's go to our project units and area. Let's add a couple of decimal places for accuracy. Okay, uh, before you run the application, uh, there is a couple of things you need to uh, add or uh, modify your window and or door families uh, to be able to let the application read uh, the provided uh, actual lighting and uh, openable area of those uh, families accurately. Uh, if I open for example a window family, any glazed area in this family uh, need to actually have a, a glazing uh, material and you need to mark uh, all the openable parts of that window or door as opening in the uh, identity data subcategory uh, so you need to mark them as opening uh, the application reads those parameters so the glazing area should be should have a, a glazing material and uh, the openable area should be all of the parts that opens should have a subcategory of opening so the application uh, is now able to read those data accurately and uh, 
uh, write them uh, into uh, each room. Okay, this is it. Thanks and see you in the next video.